Hello once again, Internet. My name is Tim Seppala, Associate Editor for Engadget.com, and joining me by my side is Jessica Condit, Senior Reporter for Engadget.com, and we just got done witnessing Sony's E3 media brief briefing this year. What did we see, Jess? What, did you, what were you really psyched about? Okay, well, first of all, Sony started the conference with The Last Guardian! Ah, the crowd goes wild. And yeah. it did. Um, it was really cool, actually, to see that game, especially to see it kick off a whole show like that. You know, they didn't save it for the end. There was no tension. There was no uh, secrecy. It was just, yeah, here it, was it is. Right out of the gate. Yeah. But it was weird, though, because it looked like it was running on PS3 hardware. It looked like the, the videos we have seen prior. And I'm not sure if that was because the screen was so big or if it's just a really early build, yeah. but it, it looked really impressive while at the same time looking like a PS3 game. Yeah. Which was interesting. Yeah, like you said, there were some clipping issues going yeah. on with the geometry. And um, after that, we also saw Final Fantasy VII HD Remake, which has been rumored for a while, and now it's actually yeah. happening, like a full-on remake. And that did not look like a PS3 game. No. So that clearly wasn't in-game footage. That was right. a cinematic trailer. But, oh my gosh, as soon as the cr the crowd kind of figured out what was going on, And they saw a cloud, eruption. gigantic sword. Yeah, it, yes. that was really, really cool, and it was super pretty. I was still thinking about that image of Cloud's back and his sword uh, throughout the entire conference. It was huge. Kind of because the rest of the conference was a little, hmm. Yeah, they were, like, so Sony started out pretty strong with the surprises, and they didn't really stop with those. So next up we had Shenmue 3, which got launched on Kickstarter, and is already doing insane numbers for the Kickstarter. Like almost a million, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's it's nuts, but that kind of plays into a bigger problem though, is that all of this stuff that they had shown off, it's not coming this year. Yeah. The stuff that is coming this year is all from third parties, which is something that Sony has relied on heavily before. So the stuff we saw that's coming this year was Black Ops 3, yep. Arkham Knight, which comes out next week, mm -hmm. and also Disney Infinity. And then there was, I don't know, there wasn't anything for Morpheus, there wasn't anything else. There, they, they did go through a few Morpheus games. We saw a few games uh, that we knew were coming, some that we didn't exactly know, but nothing crazy in terms of Morpheus. However, uh, No Man's Sky, we did see that. Again, that no doesn't have a date. release date, so we don't know if it's coming out this year, probably not, uh, but that looks gorgeous. Uh, and then Devolver Digital had a few games, and a few of those are coming out this year. Yeah. But, I mean, in terms of the lineup and the games, games, games we're used to seeing from Sony, we didn't exactly get that this year. And maybe that's the year. Sony's safe. Yeah, but we still don't have anything really great to play first party from Sony coming this fall. Nothing that was shown off this week at least. We didn't see any of that, and that makes me realize that you know Sony is just going to lean heavily on third parties once again. I will say the new game from Gorilla Games looks really good. The, that um, actually did. You're with, right. I with forgot the robot about dinosaurs? that. That was super cool. That comes out sometime. That was super cool. And then, so for Call of Duty though, so that is a game coming out this year. We knew that obviously it comes out every year. Yeah. Um, but Sony now has the deal that Microsoft used to have with yeah. Xbox. So Call of Duty is kind of a waning franchise though. It seems like it's losing a little bit of momentum. I think yeah. we felt that in the crowd. Yeah. However, it's still a steal from Microsoft. It is. So unimpressive, but still pretty cool conference from Sony. And we'll be around this whole week covering the actual E3 show. This was day zero, surprisingly enough. Um, but we'll be around, we'll have all the news, we're going to have some hands-on with some games we saw at the conferences today. 